big updates in the investigation into teen violence in the East Valley. Right now, Mesa police are asking for your help identifying another suspect in a violent attack. Plus, new details in the death of Preston Lord. Our ABC 15 investigators walking us through the new report from the medical examiner's office and speaking with the Queen Creek police chief about the case. But first, a look at how we got here. On October 28th, 2023, Preston Lord was attacked at a Halloween party in Queen Creek. Two days later, he died. And on November 14th, the FBI announced it was joining the investigation into Lord's death. Queen Creek PD also saying at the time they received hundreds of tips in the case. On December 28th, two months after Preston Lord was attacked, Queen Creek Police submitted charges to the county attorney's office against seven people. Nearly four months after Lord's death, the medical examiner has ruled his death a homicide. So because of that, tonight our Ashley Holden joins us asking the police chief if this means they're a step closer to any arrests. Ashley and Katie, the Queen Creek police chief telling me the medical examiner's report is just one piece of evidence. And while he and his department now have that report, the investigation is still ongoing. For months, the East Valley community rallying behind 16 year old Preston Lord's family, hanging orange ribbons, holding fundraisers, and once a month, walking with the Lords. A bright, happy kid one day, and the next day he is laying in the street with bystanders doing CPR on him. Preston's stepmom and dad both recently speaking publicly. Preston was one of the best parts of my life. The acts of violence committed against my son on October 28th and how he died as a result will unfortunately also remain in my mind forever. In just 13 days, it will mark four months since the Halloween party where Preston was assaulted. The medical examiner officially determining the teen's death a homicide. Do I think it's going to be years to get to um, the arrest? No, I, that's coming. Queen Creek Police Chief Randy Bryce sitting down with me one on one as the medical examiner's report now heads through a legal process. His department submitted recommended charges against seven people, those still under review by the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. In terms of the medical examiner and the news from the medical examiner, does this mean that arrest can happen? It's a piece of ev evidence or information that needs to be processed as part of the whole. So really, as we talked about, the arrests are pending the review. So the arrests weren't hinging on the medical examiner's report. It's more of one piece of the puzzle. Yeah, yeah so I, I won't say it's solely hinging on that. It's one piece. Chief Bryce says his department has been investigating this case since day one as a homicide. This it just corroborates the information that we've already received, the evidence that we've gathered, the interviews, all the stuff that we've already submitted to the county attorney. But the investigation is still ongoing. Is there anything else or anything specific that you want people to think about or come to you with? You know, if you have any videos uh, that you've taken uh, before, after, during the event, contact us or if you know of anybody that has it or any information about what happened October 28th. Police say even if people think the department may already have it sitting here today, will there be justice for Preston Lord? If you'd asked me this on day one, when we looked at how complicated this case was going to be, I, I may have had a different outlook because I was nervous, uh, to be frank. Um, I was I was um, really scared that this would not come together. And uh, I will tell you the professionalism and the amazing work that my detectives have done, they, they deserve all the credit. They have done an extraordinary job. The partnership with the FBI and the help they've given us have really brought this case together. The work that's been done, I am very confident that we are going to get where we wanna be. So it's unclear how long the legal review will take the medical examiner's office telling us every case is unique. We also reached out to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. They sent us a short statement calling the medical examiner's report an important element in the review of any criminal case. Back to you. And we'll stay on this, Ashley. Thank you.